today's Farm Basics, we're going to discuss rivers and specifically foam in rivers. Where does this foam come from? So back just a few years ago, I got a call from the mayor of the little town that's right by us. And he said, Brian, I just want to know what you think about this because people in town are asking me. The river flows right through our town and as it goes over this little low head dam, there are so many bubbles there, foam, and people are thinking, well, it's got to be ag pollution and there's something in the river. And I just said, Mike, look, here's what it really is. If you've been in the river, and I've done a bunch of kayaking in the river and everything, and I know as you're floating along, you see leaves ending up in there. There are little twigs. There's all kinds of what we would call organic material. As that organic material is breaking down, as it's decaying, what it does is it releases surfactants into the water. Now, if you've heard of the word surfactant before, we do talk about that particular word here on the show quite often because we will add surfactants, chemical surfactants, to a lot of herbicides. And the purpose of the surfactant is to break surface tension. It's basically to spread out water droplets on the leaves. Well, the same type of thing happens in the water out in the river when the decaying of these organic materials is going on, surfactants are released. Well, surfactants breaks that tension of the water and now it's much easier for air to get down in the water. And when air gets down in the water, obviously you're going to have more bubbles. Now, take that and multiply that times the fact that you've got a low head dam right in this little city. So now that's turning the water even more, throwing even more of those surfactants right into the water there. So of course, right after that, you're going to see a lot more foaming. Now, as you fly over the country or you fly over really any country around the world, oftentimes along rivers, what do you see? You see trees lining both sides of the river. Trees aren't dumb, right? They know where the water's at. And when that seed germinates right along the river, there's always going to be moisture there for that root system. So oftentimes trees really thrive along river systems. They are kind of a good thing in that they hold the soil in place pretty well, but over time, Certainly there are going to be leaves that fall, branches that fall, and even whole trees that fall into the river. So I don't ever foresee a time that we're going to say, you know what, no trees within 100 feet to the river, because we don't want to have leaves and sticks out in the river. That just isn't going to happen, and it's not going to happen naturally. So we're always going to have some level of organic material out in our streams and rivers. So to finish up my story real quick, we had the water analyzed for nutrients and chemical, and guess what? Didn't find any high levels of nutrients more than normal drinking water. We didn't find any harmful chemicals or anything in the river that was flowing through our little town. All we found is organic material that was in there causing this foam. So it's very easy to jump to conclusions and you see foam in rivers. But what we're trying to tell you today is you can analyze that water. And my guess is 99 times out of 100, you're going to find that water's just fine. There are no chemicals in there. There's no extra fertility or nutrients or anything like that. It's just simply organic material releasing surfactants. That's just the process of nature. Well, one other thing nature does is put weeds everywhere. We'll show you how to stop this particular weed later in the show. <music>